smell Thanksgiving. It's right around the corner. So tonight we're making caramelized onion butternut squash with chestnuts. In the cookbook they pretty much said it's like Thanksgiving rolled up in a casserole. So that's what we're making tonight because I'm excited for Thanksgiving and I think this is going to be a great centerpiece for it. It's got a lot of great stuff in it. I've never had it of course so I'm hoping it's going to be delicious. Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays because it means you can eat whatever you want. Let's get started. As always, all the ingredients that you need are listed below. Now the first thing you want to do is set your oven to 375. Now grab an onion. You need a pound. Well, this is a fairly large onion. I weighed it. It was a little over a pound. So this is perfect. And we're going to slice it thinly. Grab a 9 by 13 casserole dish. We're going to throw in our onions and we're going to toss it with a third of a cup of olive oil. You come back for your onion. Sure. Once you're done with that, you're going to stick it in the oven for 30 minutes. And we're going to stir this about three or four times. So keep an eye on them. Now, while that is in the oven, we're going to start preparing everything else. So grab your squash and your chestnuts and we're going to start chopping away. Start break. Now, grab your chestnuts. If you have a hard time finding these, I apologize. I could not find them fresh anywhere, so I had to get the jarred, but that's okay. If you get the jarred or the canned kind, it's gonna be a little bit easier for you. You wanna roast them, peel them, and then chop them. So these are already roasted and peeled, so half the work is already done. It says, the recipe says to drain them if they're jarred, uh, but there's no, there's no liquid in it, so I'm not gonna do that. Stir time. Starting to get a little bit brown on some of the edges, which is good. That's good. Grab your white beans. You need a can of them, either navy or cannellini or something similar. You're gonna drain them and rinse them. Almost forgot, we have to grind our coriander. So get a mortar and pestle if you got it. Otherwise, stick it in a Ziploc bag and beat it. All right, we should be done with the onions. Let's check it. All right, they're supposed to be browned and sizzling. They are sizzling, but they're not all the way browned. So we're gonna cook them probably for another five minutes. Now, one unique thing about this recipe is it calls for freshly ground nutmeg. So I got a whole nutmeg and I'm gonna grind it. Well, I'm gonna grate it. Freshly grated nutmeg, that's what it's called for, not ground. Calls for freshly grated. I've never bought whole nutmeg before. It was kind of hard to find. Look at that. That is a nutmeg. Now we need a half of a teaspoon of this. Mmm. Now that is fresh nutmeg. Want to see the inside of a nutmeg? Yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna say we're good. Now, we're gonna throw everything in there. We're gonna add the chestnuts, butternut squash, white beans, thyme, coriander, nutmeg, salt, pepper, and vegetable broth. A half cup. And we're gonna coat everything really well. That's still really hot. Now we're gonna cover it tightly with some aluminum foil. So hot. And we're gonna bake it for 35 to 45 minutes till everything's tender. Fun fact. Back in 1621, during the first Thanksgiving, you probably knew that they didn't actually have turkey, right? <laughs> what else didn't they have? Well, they didn't have potatoes. They didn't have anything to make pastry with. So they didn't have any mashed potatoes. Couldn't make a pumpkin pie. Well, what did they make? Well, they had some animals, of course. They had venison and fowl and lobsters and blah, blah, blah. But what if you were a vegan pilgrim? Well, you could eat flint corn or Indian corn. You could eat chestnuts, walnuts, squash, pumpkin, carrots and peas. So you could eat a lot of stuff, actually. So that was what was in the first Thanksgiving. All right, we're about five to 10 minutes away from pulling it out of the oven. So let's go ahead and prepare the topping. You're gonna need a half a cup of white breadcrumbs. 
salt, sage, olive oil, and a pinch of cayenne. Now we're gonna toss this till it makes a crumbly mixture. Pretty much like a little bit of stuffing on top. And don't forget the pepper. Let's check and see if everything's tender. I think we're tender enough. Now we're gonna take the foil off, sprinkle the topping on top, stick it back in the oven for 15 minutes. Now we're looking for a lightly brown top. Oh, it smells like stuffing. All right, we're gonna turn the oven off, leave it in there for a few more minutes, pretty much perfect, and then we'll take it out. That looks perfect. Suppose we should let it cool for a few minutes. So this was as pretty as I could make it. It just would not stay together. So let's try it. All right, maybe if you let it cool a little bit longer, it might've stayed together a little bit more. I doubt it because there are a lot of big chunks in here and nothing really to keep it together. I don't really care what it looks like. I just want to care, I just care what it tastes like. Oh, this is good. So the creaminess of the butternut squash is really nice. It also adds a little bit of a sweetness to it. And the topping is super good. It's crunchy, it just has a lot of flavor to it. This would be a great dish for a Thanksgiving dinner. It could be an interesting take on a centerpiece if you really wanted it to be. I don't think I've ever had a chestnut before. And they're really good. They're really rich. I think it's really good. Really, really good. This would be a unique dish, and especially incorporating beans. I don't think of beans when I think of Thanksgiving. The verdict is, yes, it is delicious. You should make this. If you're looking for something new for Thanksgiving, you should definitely try this. If you're thinking about making this for Thanksgiving, or you think you would like it, hit a thumbs up. I would love you for it. Also, in the next few episodes, we're gonna bring you a couple more sides for the festive occasion of the holidays. So stay tuned, you won't wanna miss it. I will see you all next time.